Good evening. I am yet filming another session of Domestic Violence 101. Um, this is a this is a little more serious in the sense that it involves my children. And um, today I dropped my children off at eight in the morning to spend the day with their father. It's his birthday today and I was to pick them up at 8 p.m. However, Mark decided not to show up. And at 8.30, I emailed him via our email server that is court mandated for us to communicate. It's the only way that we can communicate, but it's also a server that can be looked at by the court, uh, fortunately. Uh, he did not respond. He, and even though I know that he gets notifications, because I do as well, uh, he didn't check his email, deliberately so. I have called the police, and as I've discussed before, the wait time can be a bit lengthy. Um, it is now 10.30, and I've been waiting for two hours. I have asked them to do a welfare check for the children because I'm concerned, and um, because I don't know um, when I'm going to see the kids or how long Mark is going to keep them. This is a... Um, this is a very common tactic for abusers, especially when they want to maintain control. I don't live with him anymore, so he can't control me that way. Uh, so he does it any other way he can. And using the kids is, is it's prime. He, he likes to control. So um, I did just put in another call to the police department and ask them. Um, I said I didn't really care about the report, that I would wait and I could file it another time, but that I really needed them to do a welfare check for the kids because I, I don't know what's, what's going on. I don't know how he's treating them. I don't know where he is. He clearly isn't thinking because this is an illegal move. Um, so tomorrow I will have to hop, skip and jump down to the court and gather some paperwork to file for custodial interference and take it to court. In the meantime, I don't know where, I'm assuming my children are with him where he lives, but I I don't know. I don't, I, I hope that they're okay. Um, and it's hard because I have to, I have to sit here in this car and wait for a police officer to take my report. And it's pretty standard for me to have to relive the abuse and to think of specific instances that were particularly damaging and knowing that he has my children and knowing that I don't get to see them tonight, probably tomorrow night. I don't know when I will see them again. Um, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. It's, it's one thing when he wants to try to control me when he wants to dink around and, and intimidate and harass me but when it gets to my children that's that is not okay and so I have to rely on the courts and I won't know for several weeks what the courts decide um, but that's where I am right now I'm worried about my children I'm waiting for my children um, and I'm waiting for the police so I will keep you posted Sorry it's a bit lengthy. I'm, I'm rambling a bit, but it's because I really don't know what else to do. Um, anyway, so I will keep you posted. Bye.